jealous. They'll show jealous worship. God. They'll show worship no other God. Okay. Those God, the God that he's talking about is the, 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 the other the gods of the other nations. Alright, Baal, uh, uh, Asterisk, okay, Dagon, all of them, them idols that, the, that, that are gods over the other nations. The Lord gets jealous if you worship after that, man. But if you worship him through his son, you're worshiping him. I'll tell you something else. When Jake's spirit do get riled up. For example, with these shootings, when Jake get riled up, the first thing they want to bring out is, Martin Luther King said, Martin Luther King is not our God. He's not. But they use him to calm Jake down that Jake is doing something wrong. That's one of them, them names, vows that, 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 that they put before the Lord. Instead of saying the Lord said this, they say Martin Luther King said. That's right, man. Cause that's because that's another one of their gods, man. Okay, that's he, he's an idol. They made statues of streets all throughout the nation are named after him. And on all them streets, you can find the ghetto and the most murders yep. off Martin Luther King Boulevard Drive or Avenue. Yep. That's right, man. They turned that man into a fucking idol, man. Hell, they didn't, they didn't turn Bob Marley and Tupac into idols, man. Okay? Niggas worship Pac now. Niggas, ever, ever since that nigga passed, niggas worship that nigga, man. You know? That's right. They, they'll worship him before they will worship uh, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai could do miracles in front of these niggas. But they'll still be like, no, nah, man, if, if, if we can kill him to bring back Pac, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. You know? One of, uh, one of the things that niggas always say, use a Pac first. Only yeah. God can judge you. Yeah. Like he said that. Niggas read from the from the writings of, <laughs> like the brother in the Bay said, niggas like to study from the writings of Pac. Yeah. <laughs> you know? The, the, the roads that grew from the concrete. Right. You know? Pac said it, I believe it. The, the Chronicles chapter 3 verse. <laughs> you know? Pac said it, I, I believe it. That's yeah. how niggas wicked, wicked they is. He the, he, the, he the main one that pushed that demonic spirit of God, only God can judge me. That, that was a a, 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 a song on, on his most best-selling album. The niggas are gonna smoke some weed and quote that, quote that song. Exactly. Can't nobody judge me but God, according to Pac. Hey, well, guess what? The Most High judged. The Most High did judge that nigga two blocks away from here. Straight up, right down. All right, the street. right down the street from this corner right here, man. Two stoplights away. <laughs> the well, Most yeah. High judged that nigga, man. Uh, all right. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I, have, I have somebody. Well, if, if nobody got that, get uh, Matthew 14 and uh, start around verse 30. Niggas want to worship the, the, the creation, man. I got it. Matthew 14, verse 30. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying. This is talking about when they were on the ship. All right? And the, and the ship was in the, in, the, in the sea. And there was a tempest going on where, the, you know, the waves started getting strong and the wind. All right? And they start to panic a little bit. They start to lose a little faith. Go ahead. But when he saw the wind was boisterous, when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. Yep. He cried saying, Lord, save me. Yeah, this talking about, uh, uh, account. yeah, this is going into Peter. Uh, when he, when, when he, he, he was trying to uh, come to comfort Peter, man, because Peter was afraid and he was losing faith. So he asked for Yahweh Shai to help him because he felt like his, uh, the ship was sinking in the water. Go ahead. Start up. Start up, son? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, this is Matthew 14 and 28. No. 14 and 27. 
But straight away, but straightway, Yahweh shall spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, be me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh shot. Yep. So he said, Hey, so you know, you my this my head this, uh, apostle, you got faith. Come, come, come and walk on this water here, man. Come, come to me. Because Yahweh Shah was standing out in the midst of the water, man. He wasn't on the ship. God. He was standing in the midst of the sea, man. That, you know, nothing around him. All right. Tupac, that nigga would not be, <laughs> he couldn't stand in the middle of a, 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 a river or an ocean. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, that nigga Suge Knight said in the story that he had to save Pop from drowning one time. <laughs> he was almost about to drown and shit, man. Them niggas hopped off a boat and they started swimming and shit. And he realized that he really couldn't swim that good. And the niggas started sinking and shit and Suge had to hop out there and save that nigga, man. You know? The niggas want to worship Pop, man. You could like his music. You can enjoy with the music, you know, but niggas worship that nigga, man. That nigga's an idol. I remember, I ain't gonna lie, I remember I was, you know, I was heavy in the pop myself in the world when I was younger, man. But the more I grew, I was like, man, this, that shit is a fucking, a, a spirit, that's a demon. Nah, he, he was just, just another nigga, and he, and he sold his fucking soul to the devil, man. Get out of that deal and they yeah, man. It was too late. Like it was too late. Me. Yeah, it was too late for that nigga, man. He had a little conscience, so he had to speak about, you know, the the, 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 the devil and selling his soul, speaking about the Illuminati and all that shit. But ultimately, he, Satan required his blood, man. All right. Go ahead, man. And he said, "Come." And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Yahweh's shop. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. We sing, we sing in a spiritual song, man. Right. Sing, yeah, we, it's a spiritual song. We ain't singing tunes, but us teaching this word is basically us spiritually singing a tune that's gonna save our people in these last days. All right, so what's that the second coming of Christ? The second coming is, 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 is pretty much around the corner. We coming into that time uh, damn near now. All you gotta do is pay attention to the prophecy. What's World War III, World War III is, is on the brink. Or basically, when the Lord comes back on the scene, it's gonna be chaos all throughout the streets of America and around the world. So you think he's gonna come back and clinch? Yeah, he's coming back. Well, he's what he what he said in the Old Testament was, "I will not meet thee as a man when he comes back." He's coming as a man, but he's coming back in a, 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 a spiritual angelic force. All right, he ain't coming down. He ain't, he ain't, he, ain't, he ain't coming down holding roses. And cotton candy for everybody. Everybody think he's a man that's gonna come. He's about to peace turn it up. No, he's gonna States. come. Yeah, he's gonna yeah. come down here. and He's gonna bring judgment. Yeah, you know. He's gonna crack this government up. wide open. He gonna crack it wide open, man. Yeah, yeah. So, while, while before he even comes, you gotta look forward to all type of chaos and destruction. You gotta worry about the mark of the beast. You gotta worry about the troops, uh, uh, policing all the, uh, the the cities. It's gonna be Seven martial law. and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. It's gonna be hell out here in the streets. It's gonna be famine. You know, when they, Testaments, yeah. All these apocalyptic movies that they put in the, in the theaters, uh, don't take it lightly, man. Uh, it's all they, symbolic it, to what's gonna happen. It's, it's exactly what's gonna happen. You know? They, 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 they got, got it all. The got it all from the Bible, man. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be race riots. It's gonna be a, a food shortages, famine. It's gonna be a collapse of the economy. All right, the, the, the dollar bill that our people worship. No. It's gonna be gone. It's gonna be worthless. You know, and the new money is gonna be that chip right there. Mirror, man. Mirror out here. They strong too, man. It's gonna happen. Hey, that's that's what we telling our people. We out here to warn them. Man. It's to bring the kingdom together at the end. So you already know. That's what's gonna happen when the Lord comes back. And to let our people know, everybody on this line is Israel. Our salvation is for Israel. 
All right? If you're on that side, uh, the, you know, the, the kingdom of heaven is for you. All right? So that's, that's pretty much our message, man. You know? And if wherever city y'all from, we got brothers teaching in that city. Y'all from LA, we got brothers downtown LA. Between, on Broadway, between 5th and 7th. All right? Well, let's about to get back on the journey, though, man. All right, man. All right, man. All right, go, go, let's go into it. This is this. Matthew 14 and 29. And he said, come. Hey, because you got to, hey, man. Jake want to hand you that carnal music. No, man, you better listen to this music. Because this is this is salvation we sing again, man. If you don't, if you ain't got that song, man, then hey, you ain't you ain't got it, man. We ain't we ain't trying to hear none of that shit that Jake is on, man. You know? <laughs> Go ahead, huh? Matthew 14 and 29. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked hey, on Jake the water. Like that, you know, they worship these rappers and shit, man. You know? They will worship before a nigga like Tupac. They will worship before a nigga like uh, uh, Lil Wayne, you know, Jay-Z. Okay, all them, all them wicked demons, them niggas, man. Them niggas that have sold their souls and got popped up they fucking erected, man. Go ahead, Matthew 14 verse 30. And when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Yahweh shot, stretched forth his hand, and caught him, and said unto him, O thou of little faith. Oh, you little faith. You know, because you gotta you gotta extrapolate. Peter was probably. You know, he was probably panicking, like, yo, yo, hey, you know? He was probably even screaming, man, because he probably felt like he was going to drown. And yeah, I was shy calmly, just took his hand, like, come on, man, you know? Take my hand, you know? Yeah, man. Go ahead. O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Yep, you have a little doubt in your mind, that's why. <laughs> You was able to sink a little bit, you know. If you have the full faith, you could walk on this water just like I'm doing. Even though that was through the power, you know. That's right. Go ahead. And when they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. Uh -huh. Then, the, then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying. Then they what? They worship him saying. Then they what? Worship him saying. They worshiped him saying. So they came off they came off the ship and they bowed before <laughs> Yahweh Shah. And they admitted and acknowledged and con confessed with their mouth that he is the son of the living power, man. That he's the Lord and Savior. That he's the Messiah. Go ahead. That's what it's about to say. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a true, of a of a truth, like it, of a truth, thou art the son of God, of Yahweh. Yep. Thou of a truth. Thou art the son of, of the Most High Yahweh, man. Okay. They worshiped and then they acknowledged, they confessed before the Father that He that He is the Son of the of the Most High, man. Okay, that's an example. All right. So yes, brothers, we are supposed to worship Yahweh Shah, but we don't worship on the level of the Most High. Man. Okay. That's why we say Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Man. Okay. Get somebody. Get John uh, six and forty-four. Somebody can get John the 14th chapter. John 6 and 44. No man can come to me except the Father, which uh -huh. has sent me, draw him. Yeah, man, so that the Most High and His Son has that connection. You can't come to the Father but through Yahweh Shah, okay? You can't come to Yahweh Shah except it be appointed by the Father for you to be of the elect, okay? Because Yahweh Shah, the elect, who was given to Yahweh Shai was by the Most High Yahweh. 
All right, that's the only way, man. That's the only way. Okay. Go ahead. This is John, John 6 and 44. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. Yep. And I will raise him up at the last day. That's right, man. Okay. That's it, man. John 14. John 14 and 1. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in Yahweh, believe also in me. That's right. So you believe in Yahweh, also believe Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah? I don't know what y'all can do with that. Yeah. But the, I guess they took it from me. <laughs> the Lord, they took it from me. Yeah. Hey, this is milk. These, these are these are the same, this ain't even no parable. Yeah. It's straightforward. Right, man. Verse 2. In my father's house are many mansions. Uh, jump, jump down. Jump to like six. Verse 6, 14 and 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Where's the confusion? You believed this when you thought his name was Jesus? Oh yeah, they know the business. Yeah, they know the business. They know about this. I don't know the confusion, bro. Read, read it again. <laughs> John 14 and 6. Yahweh Shah said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's it, man. No parable needed. That's it. That's it, man. Hey, even the, the, the 24 angels, man. <laughs> Even, even even the angels in the spiritual realm worship before the Most High and Yahweh Shai, man. That's a staple verse in the Christian church. Yep. Where's the confusion? Yep. That's but right. that, that, that goes for when you start bad mouthing the elders who touch you, the Lord starts to slowly take away your understanding. That's right. That's right, man. First John 2 and 23. Whosoever denies the Son, the same hath not the Father. Hey, that's come on, man. But he on, that man. acknowledged the Son hath the Father also. Come on, man. There's no 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 chasing, man. Alright. We worship Yahweh Shai to worship Yahweh, man. That's the only way you can do it. Let that, this is verse John 2 and 24. Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning, and that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye shall also continue in the Son and in the Father. That's talking about the doctrine, man, the gospel. If you continue in it, then the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh is with you. Hey, that's why we don't fuck with you, you niggas that, that ain't that ain't teaching it right, man. We're not gonna come together with you. Alright? We're gonna rebuke the shit out you, man. Alright? We're gonna rebuke the fuck out of you, man. You're gonna see, you're gonna be made a reproach, man. We're gonna, we gonna upgrade you, man. 
like just like Yahweh Shai did the, um, the the wicked scribes and Pharisees, we gonna upgrade you, man. Yahweh Shai cussed out entire cities, man, because they wasn't uh, uh, rooted in the doctrine, man. They was going off. Okay. So we gonna we gonna get on you same niggas. All right. Nigga, bid him God speak. We ain't gonna salute you either, man. You ain't worthy of, of salutation. All right, we 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 wish death upon you, man. As long as you harden in your neck of being a demon and not teaching what the, the scriptures say, and you going against the doctrine that the Lord set up, all right, we not gonna we not gonna salute you, man. We'd rather we curse you. Okay. We gonna cuss you, niggas, man. That's right. We gonna cuss you, niggas, man. Fuck you, niggas, man. Go ahead, bro. For he that battered him, God's speed is a partaker of his evil deeds. That's right, man. We ain't gonna protect this. What did he say in verse 10? Whosoever transgresses, transgresses, and abideth not in the doctrine of Yahweh Shah, have not Yahweh. Yep. He that abideth in the doctrine of Yahweh Shah, he have both the Father and the Son. So if you abide in the doctrine of Yahweh Shah, you have him and his Father. Okay. And Yahweh Shai said, <laughs> every knee shall uh, con confess me and bow to me. That's part of the, that's part of the, uh, the doctrine. Okay. That's part of the doctrine. All right. If you do not have him to reign over you, that's that's part of the doctrine to, to, to get your, your neck rolled, man. That's part of the doctrine. Okay. Teaching his word, feeding the sheep. That's part of the doctrine. That's right. All right. We ain't supposed to worship your own shot, man. That's that's the new 